first alert weather in live local coverage. This is News 10 at 6. Tonight, a mother is being charged in connection with the death of her child. Good evening, I'm David Andrews. An unsecured gun led to tragedy for a two-year-old in Howell back on June 11th. News 10's Riley Connell is in the newsroom with the very latest details on this case. Riley? Hi, David. Charges against the mother were filed in a Livingston County court on September 18th. The mother now faces one count of second-degree child abuse. Law enforcement believes the toddler gained access to an unsecured firearm in a home on Oak Squire Lane, and it went off. The mother has not formally appeared in court, but is scheduled for arraignment on September 29th in the 53rd District Court in Howell. The Howell Dele Police Department declined to comment on the case at this time, but the toddler's death is raising concern amongst gun safety advocates. A report by the Pew Research Center shows a 50% increase in gun-related deaths among U.S. kids and teens between 2019 and 2021. Earlier this year, Michigan passed a series of red flag laws in an effort to prevent those deaths, including safe storage. Gun safety advocates say tragedies like the one that happened in Howell are preventable if people are willing to take the necessary precautions. I, I wish this was the first story. You know, I break it back to, to one simple phrase. If it's not on you, lock it up. Um, if you're not actively carrying your weapon, then there's no reason that a loaded weapon should be anywhere that it's not secured. The new safe storage law will take effect in March of 2024. Live in the newsroom, Riley Connell, News 10. Thank you, Riley. Turning now to the weather forecast.